How's it going YouTube? This is Alex coming at you for TV TV in the studio with a very special video for you today. Today we have the best portable dry herb vaporizers coming in to 2021. I'm super excited about this video. The first thing I want to tell you is we're going to give away this Deadpool poster in a couple weeks and I'm going to tell you how to enter that contest later in this video. So stick around, enjoy it, watch the video and Let's get into it. Choosing a dry herb vaporizer depends on a number of factors. You know, some people are into battery life, some people are into portability, some people are into how easy it is to use, if that sucker is built well, and of course, how much money you wanna spend. We're gonna dive into our picks for the top five devices. I'm gonna tell you why we think that. Obviously, our opinion isn't law. These are just our opinions. I'm not gonna dive in too deeply to how each one works, but if you're interested in learning more about a particular device I talk about in this video, I'll put links in the description below. Before we start, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, hit the like button, just do it. Sitting in our number one spot this year is the Zeus Arc. This German engineered baby has a super tiny body, fits in your hand really well, three temperature settings, haptic feedback, and a hidden multi-tool on the bottom of the device. It's a phenomenal device that slips into your pocket super easily and has a 3500 milliamp hour battery that will last you roughly 90 minutes of continuous use. For a device this size, the fact that the battery is so large is seriously impressive. There are two versions of the Arc, the GT and the stainless steel version. The GT features an all gold plated vapor path, both in the mouthpiece, and the chamber itself. Gold is one of the most conductive metals on the planet and very capable of removing the heat from your vapor before it reaches your lips. This allows the powerful smack you across the face hits that you get with the Arc to be cooled down before you actually inhale them. On setting three, the Arc can pump out a serious amount of clouds that can compete with any device on this list, even the convection ones, and with a much, much smaller frame. Every part of this device was designed with serious intention, like the Germans do. The built-in stir tool at the bottom of the device. I'm gonna stop doing that. That's horrible. I'm so sorry. I apologize to the German people as a whole. The built-in stir tool at the bottom is magnetic and slips off the device super easily, allowing you to access the micro USB port at the bottom for recharging. It also magnetically attaches to the top when you're recharging, so you won't lose it. But when attached back onto the device, it is completely hidden to the naked eye and sits flush with the rest of the device. Another design technique that is just mwah. There's haptic feedback on the device, so when you turn it on or turn it off or switch between temperatures, it will vibrate to let you know that it has done so. It also vibrates when it reaches temperature. There's also an accelerometer in the device, which does two things. One, you can shake for battery life and it will tell you that, geez, I should have charged this before I started the video. And two, it will actually automatically cool down when the device hasn't been handled in 30 seconds. What this does is it preserves your herbs allowing you not to burn any of it unnecessarily. Arguably my favorite part of the device is the lip on the top that allows you to scoop your herb into the chamber. The entire device can be completely hidden by your hand and cleaning this guy is super easy as it really comes down to soaking the screen in isopropyl, using a grime stick to wipe the heat sink off and then swabbing out the chamber. And if you're feeling like your device is getting real nasty, you can clear out the air path with one of the included brushes. The Zeus Arc is a compact, powerful, portable cloud pumping machine. The GT version retails at around 230 USD and the stainless steel at 200 USD. Coming in at number two is the mighty king of portable convection for a number of years now. With a cooling unit in the mouthpiece, full temperature control up to 210 degrees Celsius, and great vapor, the mighty and its large frame are impressive and can pump out a serious amount of tasty clouds. The vapor of the Mighty is clean, crisp, and comes out as cool as a baby's bottom. Is that the expression? I don't have kids. Another German designed unit, the Mighty got a battery update in 2018 and now boasts 90 minutes of continuous use before it needs to be recharged, which takes roughly 45 minutes from completely dead. It also offers pass-through charging, which is great as you can use it while it's being charged. The Mighty's top temperature is 210 degrees Celsius, which is lower than most of the other devices on this list. 
It does say that it offers the ability to work with concentrates, but I don't think that top temperature will give you nearly enough extraction. Due to the large size, the Mighty isn't as portable as some of the other devices on this list, but it certainly fits in a backpack or a jacket pocket. It just might not fit in your jeans pocket. If you do choose to take it on the go, that 90 minutes of battery life will definitely help you. The Mighty is a well-built device and its rugged industrial design is made of medical grade plastic. Its larger profile allows for a longer vapor path and the cooling device in the mouthpiece keeps them hits nice and cool but that 350 USD price tag is a hefty fee. In the number three spot is none other than the Utilian 722. Easy to use with one button and four temperature settings, the 722 is an excellent choice for anyone who doesn't want to break the bank, but wants a powerful session that can knock them out like Floyd Mayweather is going to crunch whichever Paul brother is going to fight him. A sleek, sturdy design built really well the ability to handle concentrates with a plumb, the 722 is a true two-in-one convection device. Not to mention that boost mode that automatically ramps the temperature up to 225 degrees Celsius, which is perfect for finishing off a session or for handling any concentrate you can throw at it. The preset temperature settings range from 180 to 210 in 10 degree increments, perfect for slowly ramping up a session and finishing it off with that boost mode. Piggybacking off the success of its older brother, the 721, the 722 features much more refined airflow and a wide open mouthpiece that makes the hits airy and flavorful. That free flowing convection vapor allows you to taste the terpenes of your chosen dry herb or concentrate really well. The 722 features a 2300 milliamp hour battery that lasts roughly 60 minutes of continuous use. And you can recharge it at the bottom with a micro USB cable. The rugged frame can certainly hold up to a couple drops and it is slightly larger than most dry herb vaporizers, but still easily capable of fitting in a pocket for a night out. The 722 is a true two-in-one device that can handle dry herb and concentrate really well. It has the ability to pump out a serious amount of flavorful, powerful vapor, and it comes in as the most budget-friendly unit on this list at 150 USD. Sitting in our number four spot is none other than the Ariser Solo 2. This workhorse of a vaporizer was one of the first I ever bought and I still use it to this day. It has a special place in my heart and I like it quite a bit. And it still sits among my personal favorites due to that long glass vapor path, the ridiculous amount of battery life and full temperature control up to 220 degrees Celsius. Built like a brick shithouse. What does that even mean? Like I know what it means, but like why did brick shithouses have to be so sturdy? The Solo 2 has a slight learning curve when it comes to navigating the menu, but in reality, it's fairly straightforward. That's a confusing sentence. There are a lot of options in the Solo 2 that you can mess around with, including that beep that you may or may not have just heard, how bright the screen is, how long it takes you to turn the device on. There's a lot of customizable options, and as soon as you get them all under control, it becomes second nature. Can someone please explain why brick shit houses had to be built so sturdily? It's still puzzling me. The customization it offers from a user standpoint is great. It's super easy to load your bowl. Just scoop the stem into your grinder, tamp it down, and insert it into the top. The temperature on the Solo 2 is fully customizable up to 220 degrees Celsius, and it delivers some great heavy hitting vapor with excellent flavor. That excellent flavor can be mostly attributed to the long glass vapor path. It's not the most portable device in the world for that same reason, but the Solo 2 does come with a little belt clip looking pouch that allows you to carry two stems and the Solo 2 itself, in a little belt clip thing, so you can look like you are wearing a Blackberry and it's 2004. But honestly, I do take that thing around and throw it in my backpack because I'm not a dad, and I've never had a problem with a glass stem breaking on me. The Ariser Solo 2 and its three hours of battery life are a great choice for any connoisseur. Pro tip for almost all the devices on this list, but it was one of the first things I bought for the Solo 2, 
grab that water pipe adapter and thank me later. The Solo 2 retails at around 270 USD. Coming in at number five is the Crafty Plus, the Mighty's little brother. One button operation, that German engineering. I'm so sorry. I did it again. Great flavor and powerful vapor are all reasons to love this vaporizer. There are three temperature settings to choose from without the app and with the app, full customizability. Customization. Just like the Mighty, the temperature of the Crafty goes up to 210 degrees Celsius. And also just like the Mighty, the cooling unit is present in this mouthpiece as well. The Crafty Plus delivers some cool, smooth, solid hits. The battery update means the battery lasts for five to nine sessions or just under 60 minutes of continuous use. Unlike the Mighty, which has a proprietary charger, the Crafty Plus recharges with a micro USB port and also allows for pass-through charging. With a rugged, compact design that allows you to take it out and about with you for a night or for a camping adventure. Just remember to bring a battery pack. The Crafty Plus retails at around 280 USD. So in order to receive this beautiful, beautiful Deadpool poster, you need to like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be picking a winner in the upcoming weeks and we're gonna get a new poster in here, which is kind of cool too. And that's it for this one, guys. I hope I helped you make some decisions. If you have differing opinions and you wanna tell me about them, please throw it in the comments below. If you need specific advice, pop that in the comments. I try my best to respond to as many as I can. Please forgive me if I don't get to yours, but I will try to respond to each one with my own personal opinion. Of course, as always, I recommend that you do a little bit of research and take a look around the internet to make your own decision. But I hope I gave enough reasons for why these are my top five picks. If you think I missed anything, if you'd like to see a different vaporizer review, if you just don't like the way my face looks, throw it down in the comments below. I will take all of the negative comments about me and put them on a sweater and then wear that sweater while I do the reviews. It's actually a pretty good idea. I might, I might actually do that. I might do that. Until next time, my name is Alex for TV Ape TV, and for all you connoisseurs out there, keep vaping. To find any of the devices you saw in this video, Google TV Ape to find your local site, or go to tvape.com for our global site.